As humanity sets its sights on the red planet, a crucial question looms large. How will we breathe on Mars? Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a breathable atmosphere, with its thin air composed mainly of carbon dioxide. Without oxygen, sustaining human life on Mars seems impossible. Yet, in the face of this challenge, scientists and engineers are pioneering innovative solutions to ensure a sustainable oxygen supply for future Mars missions and eventual colonization. Join us as we explore the groundbreaking methods being developed to produce oxygen on Mars, paving the way for the next chapter of human exploration beyond Earth's bounds. Welcome to How Humans Will Get Oxygen on Mars. Last year marked a milestone in space exploration that seems straight out of science fiction. NASA successfully produced oxygen on Mars. Utilizing a microwave-sized device attached to the Perseverance rover, carbon dioxide was converted into a precious 10 minutes of breathable oxygen. This breakthrough not only showcased the ingenuity of NASA's scientists and engineers, but also opened the door to new possibilities for sustaining human life on the Red Planet. Now, physicists are exploring even more efficient methods to produce oxygen on Mars. One promising approach involves using electron beams in a plasma reactor, offering the potential to generate far greater quantities of oxygen in a small package. Michael Hecht, an experimental scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and leader of the oxygen-making rover instrument, envisions this technique not only supporting astronauts' breathing needs, but also serving as a versatile resource for creating fuel and fertilizer. This revolutionary device known as MOXIE has showcased its potential to become a cornerstone technology for future Mars missions, offering a lifeline for astronauts in the challenging Martian environment. Picture this. A group of scientists and engineers at NASA's Mars 2020 project carefully installing MOXIE into the chassis of the Perseverance rover back in 2019. It was a pivotal moment, marking the beginning of a groundbreaking experiment that would test the feasibility of oxygen extraction from the Martian atmosphere. Fast forward to today, and MOXIE has not only exceeded expectations, but has also set a new standard for what's possible in the realm of space exploration. With each operation, MOXIE has demonstrated its capability to generate oxygen from Mars's thin atmosphere, a crucial resource for future astronauts. This oxygen could serve multiple purposes, from sustaining breathable air within habitats to producing rocket propellant essential for return journeys to Earth. The implications of MOXIE's success extend far beyond its compact size, offering a glimpse into the future of human space exploration. Imagine the scene. The first astronauts setting foot on Martian soil, equipped with descendants of the pioneering device that is MOXIE. These microwave oven-sized units could be the key to their survival providing the oxygen needed to breathe and the fuel required to navigate the vast Martian landscape. It's a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, paving the way for a new era of exploration beyond Earth's orbit. The numbers speak volumes. Since landing on Mars in 2021, MOXIE has produced a total of 122 grams of oxygen, equivalent to what a small dog breathes in just 10 hours. Its efficiency has surpassed initial expectations, with the ability to generate up to 12 grams of oxygen per hour at an impressive purity of 98% or higher. Even on its 16th and final run aboard Perseverance, MOXIE continued to deliver, producing 9.8 grams of oxygen on August 7th. The significance of MOXIE's achievements cannot be overstated. Not only has it validated the concept of in situ resource utilization, but it has also laid the groundwork for future Mars missions. Its success represents a pivotal step towards establishing a sustainable human presence on the Red Planet, one where vital resources are harvested directly from the Martian environment. In the words of NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy, MOXIE's impressive performance shows that it is feasible to extract oxygen from Mars's atmosphere, oxygen that can help supply breathable air or rocket propellant for future astronauts. This groundbreaking technology holds the key to unlocking the full potential of Mars exploration, enabling humanity to reach new heights in our quest to explore the cosmos. However, despite the promise of this new approach, significant challenges remain before it can be deployed on Mars. The harsh Martian environment presents numerous obstacles, from extreme temperatures to dust storms, that must be overcome to ensure the reliability and effectiveness of oxygen production technology. 
Additionally, the logistics of transporting and operating complex equipment on another planet adds layers of complexity to the equation. Nevertheless, the potential benefits of this innovative oxygen production method are undeniable. Beyond providing a sustainable oxygen supply for future Mars missions, it could revolutionize how we approach long-term human habitation and exploration of the Red Planet. MOXIE relies on pressurizing and heating Martian air, which requires additional components and consumes energy, resulting in a bulky design. Recognizing these limitations, Vasco Guerrera, a physicist at University of Libsyn, proposed a potentially more efficient alternative, a plasma reactor. In Guerrera's concept, a plasma reactor would utilize a beam of electrons accelerated to a specific energy level to split carbon dioxide into its component ions or plasma, similar to MOXIE. What sets this approach apart is its compatibility with the Martian atmosphere, which is about 100 times thinner than Earth's. Guerrera explains that creating and accelerating an electron beam in the thin Martian air is comparatively easier as it operates at the ideal pressure for plasma operation. In laboratory experiments, Guerrera and his team simulated Mars-like conditions by pumping air with matching pressure and composition into metal tubes. Unlike MOXIE, they didn't need to compress or heat the air. By directing an electron beam into the reaction chamber, they achieved a remarkable conversion rate, generating about 30% of the air into oxygen. They estimated that their device could produce approximately 14 grams of oxygen per hour, sufficient to support 28 minutes of breathing. However, practical challenges remain to be addressed. While the plasma reactor shows promise, it requires a portable power source and storage facilities for the oxygen it produces, potentially leading to a bulkier setup than MOXIE. Michael Hecht, the leader of the MOXIE project, acknowledges these practical concerns. He suggests that, with significant investment and development efforts, the plasma approach could mature into a viable alternative. He particularly appreciates its versatility, as the electron beam could be adjusted to split other atmospheric molecules like nitrogen, potentially enabling the production of fertilizer. In essence, while the plasma technique presents a promising avenue for oxygen production on Mars, it's still in its infancy compared to MOXIE. With continued research and funding, however, it could emerge as a valuable addition to the toolkit for future Mars missions, offering innovative solutions to the challenges of sustaining human life on the Red Planet. MOXIE surely marked a historic milestone as the first ever demonstration of technology designed to sustain human life on Mars and facilitate return journeys to Earth. By generating oxygen from the Martian atmosphere, MOXIE showcased the potential for astronauts to harness local resources for survival, rather than relying solely on supplies from Earth. The significance of MOXIE's achievement extends far beyond its immediate application. As the principal investigator, Michael Hecht of MIT aptly puts it, MOXIE has clearly served as an inspiration to the ISRU community. ISRU, or NC2 Resource Utilization, has emerged as a pivotal concept in space exploration, with researchers exploring innovative ways to utilize resources found on celestial bodies like Mars. One of the most promising applications of ISRU lies in producing rocket propellant from Martian resources, a concept that could revolutionize future Mars missions. Instead of transporting vast quantities of oxygen from Earth, astronauts could manufacture propellant on-site, significantly reducing the logistical challenges and costs associated with space travel. MOXIE's success has not only validated the feasibility of ISRU, but has also catalyzed a burgeoning industry focused on space resources. By demonstrating NASA's commitment to investing in cutting-edge technologies for future exploration, MOXIE has inspired a new wave of innovation and collaboration within the space community.